Hello Aquarius! How are you today? We're going to jump into your reading. Welcome to the channel. My name is Donna. You have a burst of magic, my friends. Well, that's not a surprise, Aquarius. You guys are quite magical. I love that energy. Look at how gorgeous that is. But you're going to have a moment that's exceptionally wonderful. Endless possibilities. Ooh, Aquarius, what is going on with you? Smoke and mirrors. Okay, so things are not quite as they seem. Smoke and mirrors looks as though somebody's a little bit less than clear about what they're up to with you, okay? So let's jump in here. We're going to look at your energy, their energy, what's hidden in this relationship, and the likely outcome that will be a predictive outcome. So let's look and see for our beautiful Aquarius friends. Okay. Energy at the bottom of the deck. Oh, Ten of Cups. Aquarius. That's fantastic. I love it. You have great mastery over yourself, over your heart space. You're really open to love. Stability. Oh, my word. That's fantastic. I love that. Okay. So the energy that is your energy coming in is very much Spirit of Pentacles. You want to build, you really want to, you want to create something of long-term value. Your energy is all about uh, building, creating, having something long-term, having something that you can count on. This is a happily ever after card of marriage. So that's, that's the overall energy in the reading. So the person that you're looking at is at a crossroads. They need to make a decision about their life. They need to take action. They are in this sort of very inquisitive mindset. They're very curious about what the two of you can have. You're just really on a path that's very, very, um, very steady. This person probably is a little bit less stable because that Aries energy is more like, I have to do something. What am I going to do? So what's hidden between the two of you is the lover's card, soulmate energy, Gemini. Lovers, lovers, so the, the, there might be a lot of fireworks going on between the two of you, but we do have endless, you know, endless possibilities and, you know, magic. So what's the outcome? Ooh, unicorn, the beautiful fool card. Aquarius, that's your card. Is a new beginning, a new beginning in love? So let's look and see what the clarifiers are. Tell us something about the King of Pentacles energy, which our Aquarius friends are bringing in to this connection at this time. Let's see what we have here. So let's pull three cards for the beginning of the energy re part of the reading. Let's see. Okay. Okay, <laughs> Aquarius, you are like totally on it. The Father of Pentacles, the Spirit of Pentacles, that's the King of Pentacles energy. So your energy is all about, you know, really nurturing, living life really well, living life with abundance, living larger than life, being very dedicated to it. You are letting go of any burdens that you have, anything that's ever held you back in the past, you're just letting go of it. And you're in this very sweet love energy of really just making a small offer in love. You're not going to overpromise, but you know what you want. You know what you're looking for. Excuse me one second. You know what you're looking for, and you're really determined to have it. I like it. It's really great energy. It's what, you know, that's how you're going to create this big magic in your life. You're manifesting a lot. Okay, so let's see what we have here now. So your person is in this indecisive energy they haven't really made a, a clear-cut decision so what do we have for them what life path are they going to choose with you the lover's card okay two of wands i need to move these down here so i can reference this card later because i will need to reference it okay there we go so we see them in the energy of choosing you. And you know, the lover's card is so interesting because it shows, you know, the lover's card is actually making a choice to step into a soulmate energy. And look at what's hidden. Both of you are in this energy of soulmate. So let's see what we have here. Nine of Pentacles, they see you as single, ready to mingle. Somebody who's not committed to them. Someone who they see you as beautifully dressed, 
you look good, you smell good, you taste good, you are somebody that's highly desirable in the world of dating. The Three of Swords, they do not. They're not putting you in a third party situation. I think this person kind of maybe does that. You know, I think he dates, or he or she or whoever it is, dates more than one person typically. But this person sees you as a soulmate and somebody who really wouldn't put up with that pre empress energy. And so we get the Three of Swords reversed, which is a reversal that we love. This person has no intention of doing anything that's going to break the two of you up or jeopardize the relationship. Good. So what's hidden here between the two of you is both of you... Well, your energy. Let's go your energy first. What's hidden for you is that you're taking a wait-and-see attitude to see if this person can talk about their feelings, whether they're commitment-oriented, whether they will actually step into the energy of making a strong choice. You love the passion. You love your time with this person. You know, that's Sagittarius. It's like you want to have adventures with them. You like, you know, the, the do a little dance, make a little love, get down tonight. But you are very fixated on this very nurturing, loving energy to bring out and energize the soulmate energy that your person feels. So, but again, you are looking at things from a different perspective, staying calm, cool, and collective. You're not going to take any action at this time. You just feel like it's not, it's not time to take action. So the Fool card, this new beginning is your energy is that you're open to it you're going to make a small offer you're going to still keep yourself in the energy of being a little bit protective you're not just going to jump in foolishly or wholeheartedly the energy for you of the outcome at this time is the energy that you're staying open to different ideas even different people again i don't see you really juggling this person but i do see you Still talking to other people, still being open to other people making an approach. And if the time comes that you felt as though you should change options, you will. So the energy that I have for your person that's hidden here is Nine of Cups. They have never been so happy. You are their wish fulfillment. You make them laugh. You make them want to love, eat, drink, be merry, live in the moment. That energy is a very good energy because cups are love and nine of cups are a very, very almost familial friendship kind of love that you need to go into marriage, but they're not quite at that marriage level yet, not quite at that commitment level. You're at a bigger commitment level in terms of what you're seeking here. What's hidden is that they're not seeking that same marriage level component that you are. Son of Pentacles says that they are going to take a very slow walk towards you. Um, because the Son of Pentacles does become the King of Pentacles. So you can see the potential, Aquarius, because you're really good at looking at that. You're good at gauging it. And this person is the Moon card. So they do have this uncertainty they have this uncertainty that you are the empress. They definitely, I love the fact that those were two, two cards were stuck together. Your person feels that they've made some sort of mistake. The moon card says that when they were over here in this energy of eat, drink, be merry, oh, let's just give a small offer and we won't worry about the rest. And you kind of stepped in and gave them a lightning bolt here of reality that it's like, that's all fun and good to, to have a joyful time together. But if they don't have any clarity that you could be of value, that they can move forward with you in the future, that you really are not, you know, you're not going to stick around at that point. You're going to give this person a couple of chances. And if they don't come through for you, you will choose a different path. You're going to choose your goals. You're going to choose to have this, the smoke and mirrors is this a little bit of energy that they're coming in. They may be giving lip service to the fact of how fantastic you are, but you want to see action. And I don't blame you there. That's really good energy. We have the temperance card. So they're coming in. They really want to manifest you. They have a lot of passion. They have a lot of desire. There we have the love card. Okay, so now we see that their energy is very much, this is a person who doesn't like to show their feelings. This is a Father of Cups, it's Scorpio King. We see that they are in it to win it. They see that they really have passion for the relationship, that they have a lot of enlightenment 
Ace of Coins, here's your offer. That Ace of Coins is a very significant offer. You can drop one of those coins into the into the Ace of Coins. You won't have to pursue other people in this relationship. It looks like this person is going to come through for you. Tell us more about this moon card over here, please, Spirit. The High Priestess. Well, they're not telling you. They're <laughs> this person is not telling you much because they're so afraid that they're going to put their foot in their mouth. They're like, I better shut my my mouth up, and I should, I maybe I shouldn't drink so much, and maybe I need to speed up this little, you know, night of Pentacles here because I'm dealing with a rock star, and that's Aquarius energy again. Oh, Aquarius, I love this energy for you. You you know, you've kept your dignity. You have you've made your standards really clear with this person let's see what else we have going for the energy that you're feeling throughout you know as we progress through the reading let's get a new update here the three of cups you do feel as though if this person isn't your person you could still stay friendly that they haven't really violated on the other hand <laughs> we get the death card you can walk away from them you're not going to be friend zoned that, you know, yes, you could be their friend, but if you're their friend, it's not with benefits. And you are absolutely going to cut out if you see toxic energy. You're the mother of wands right now. You have all your power. Your femininity is at a peak right now. You're exceedingly attractive and you're moving forward. And what I get here is that you're going to move past old energy, the, the devil card, you're moving past an old energy of being left out in the cold. You are absolutely manifesting here in this relationship, endless possibilities. So what I see here is that you're very much in the energy of not repeating old errors. You're not doing it. You have this momentum that you've built here and you are keeping it up. And if this person hurts you, if you feel as though they owe you an apology, the energy that I get with it is that you're going to put them in a competitive state. You're going to you're going to go ahead and date other people. You're not going to get caught there with them. You're just not. You're not going to get caught in a situation that's going to put you in competition with others. So if they don't make a clear-cut choice and step forward, and they are, and they are, that offer, you really know exactly where you're at with it. Their energy. Let's see more about their energy. The Eight of Cups. They, they need to walk away from somebody that they used to date. We see your person. Two of Swords. Yeah, Two of Swords. Not putting you in third party. This is a person who's kind of really comfortable not making commitments and just having fun. They love deeply, though. I will give them credit for that. The Eight of Swords. So we get the energy that they are yeah see they're not gonna they, i think this person is accustomed to third party situations and that now they're in this beautiful energy here of wanting to heal and manifest and do the right thing and move forward i like it okay so let's see what we have here for your energy for the newness of this relationship where you're at with it by the by the end of say february let's see where you're at Ten of Coins, okay. You're feeling that this person, that Ace of Coins, has indicated to you that you could have the Ten of Coins with them. You're on target for your goals by the end of the month. Your person is telling you that they absolutely feel, as do you, that marriage is honestly a goal for them. You're both being very forthright with it. So we see their energy is that they've chosen you as their person. <laughs> Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Oh my God, Aquarius. Look at this energy. This person has manifested you. They are not letting go. This is endless possibilities. Let's look and see what the energy is with this smoke and mirrors. Tell us something about smoke and mirrors before we close this reading out. Aquarius, I love this reading for you. This is what you get when you know what you want and you're not really on a death card and you're not willing to settle for less. The death card. I think this person is is a person who's very charismatic, who is very accustomed to sort of projecting an image on a movie screen. And they are just, they're stopping that nonsense in their tracks. 
they are absolutely just putting a halt to that because they can't do that with you. Your person wants a victory with you. This can also mean a possible engagement in the future. It looks like they want a victory. They want to introduce you to all their friends. Stability. Oh, my word. Four of Wands. 11-11. Twin Flame. Lots of beautiful energy here. Ten of Cups twice. Oh, my God. Ten of Coins. You know, the Four of Wands. The Ten of... Oh, my God. This is a great reading for you, Aquarius. I'm not going to just stay here and swoon over this reading. I love it for you. Sending you love and light from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from. Bye-bye.